Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Nick. Today we're diving into something super cool and practical, printing a QR code. Whether you want to link to your website, share your contact info, or add a personal touch to your prints, a 3D printed QR code is both functional and a fun project. I'll show you how to generate a free custom QR code using QR.io. Export it as an SVG and set it up in Bamboo Studio for a flawless print. So grab a cold one and let's go. First, let's talk about QR codes. Those little patterns that instantly link you to your websites, contact cards, or even custom messages with a quick scan. They're a brilliant way to merge the physical and the digital worlds, and 3D printing them just takes it to a whole new level. You could use 3D printed QR codes for nameplates, business cards, or even gift tags, linking to personalized messages. One idea I'm especially excited about is creating a custom QR code for my dinosaur skull prints linking to a website or YouTube video with fascinating details about each dinosaur. The possibilities are endless. All right, so the first thing we need to do is go to QR.io. Now there are literally hundreds, if not thousands of QR code generating websites. I have been using QR.io since they first launched and have not run into any problems. Their QR codes are very compatible with our slicing software compared to other popular sites like Bitly. They also offer more free code generations and options. Now, if you want to track your clicks, their premium account is $35 a month, which is steep, but I don't think many of us need to track how many scans we get. The first thing we need to do is add a URL in the field right here. Now, what makes QR.io so great is that they don't add any watermark on our QR codes, and they give us the ability to export our codes with a transparent background. Other sites like Bitly add their logo and don't even offer transparent backgrounds with their QR codes. I'm sure many of you out there know some of the great places to generate these codes, so please help us out and include them in the comments below. Once your website URL is added, just click download SVG button right here on the right. You'll be prompted to sign up for an account, just use your email or sign up with Google. Next, you'll be sent to a dashboard that looks just like this. You will notice mine may be slightly different than yours, that's because I have a premium account. Next, you're welcome to edit the shape. I know they offer two different shapes for the free accounts. Just make sure that the transparent background button is turned on. Also, there's no need to change the colors, just leave it black. Next, click the Save button. On the next page, just click Download, then SVG, and save it to your computer. Now we're ready to jump into Bamboo Studio. The first thing we need to do is import our QR code. Click this Import button right here, find your QR code, SVG file, and open it. Once it opens in Bamboo Studio, you should get a large QR code that looks like this. The new SVG window will pop up. This allows you to change the size, depth, rotate, and mirror your file. Just click anywhere in Bamboo Studio and close it. We will use the Scale tool. If it didn't import your QR code into the center, just right click on your code and click Center. Next, open up the Scale tool right here. Now the size that you want to print your QR code is going to be total preference. I'm actually planning on printing a full bill plate size or even four bill plate size QR code soon. I will most likely do a video on how I do that. For now, let's work with something manageable. You can always adjust the size after you print your first one. Now, as you can see, I printed three different versions. The background base was set to 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters, so let's go with that. That means we need to make our QR code a little bit smaller. Let's set our code to 90 by 90. Uncheck uniform scale if that's checked, then set your X and Y values to 90. Now let's first create a flush QR code. Change the Z value to one. Now let's add our background base. Right click on the build plate, then add primitive and click cube. Push S on the keyboard to activate the scale tool and resize it. Let's use 100 by 100 for the X and Y values and 10 for the Z value. The next thing we need to do is load our AMS filament. Click on the device tab, then select your printer with the AMS up here in the menu. I have multiple printers, so I have to do that extra step. Double check and make sure your filament matches what you have loaded in your AMS. All right, back to the prepare window. Your AMS filaments should be showing up correctly now. Let's go ahead and add them to our project. Click on this plus sign and select the two colors you want to use for your QR code. As a side note, you can actually add more than two colors for your QR code as well. I'm going to print this as a simple black and white, but you're always welcome to print any colors that you want. Just note that it will be best to use contrasting colors when printing a QR code. Great, I have filament one as black and filament two as white. Let's first assign the white as our background. Now the quick way to do this is to click on the background and push 2 on the keyboard. That will assign the filament 2 to the object that is selected. You can repeat that for the QR code. Select the QR code, push 1 on the keyboard. Now let's center the background. This will cover our QR code, but don't worry. Next let's merge them together. 
Switch to objects mode by clicking here. You will see the two objects on plate one. Click the first object, hold control down on the keyboard and click on the other object and you'll have both selected. Then right click and click merge. Before we move on, I would like to show you something. If we rotate our view down beneath the build plate and slice our QR code, you'll see that the QR code does not show up. What we need to do next is grab our cube object layer and move it above the QR code. Now the order of our layers is the cube with the QR code just below it. Let's slice our model again. Now you can see that the QR code will be printed. Quickly scanning through our first layers, it looks like our black will print all the way up to layer six and we'll have five filament changes. I think that's gonna be good enough depth for our code to adhere to the background. If you print your QR code too thin, then you won't get enough layers and it may not stick to the background object. Now let's quickly run through our settings. Switch back to global by clicking here. I'm gonna use the standard preset for this project. All the quality settings are just fine. The only thing I'm gonna change in the strength tab is gonna be the infill pattern and I'm switching that to gyroid. The rest of the tabs can be left alone unless you wanna add a brim. I have printed three of these already and haven't had anything lift on me. All right, everything looks good. Let's go ahead and send it to the printer. Click print plate. Make sure to double check that the correct filament is selected here and here and hit send. While that's printing, let's work on our 3D QR code. Let's go ahead and move this out of the way off of the build plate for now. All right, let's quickly repeat that first process by importing our QR code and adding a primitive cube, then resizing it. Okay, this time I changed my cube primitive to eight millimeters tall and my QR code to three millimeters tall. I also set the filament colors for each object. Now let's go ahead and place them. Let's center both objects and then switch to the object mode. Select both objects and merge. Now select the QR code and hit the move tool. We're just gonna move it in place. All we need to do now is move it up. I didn't choose to print a very large protruding 3D QR code because I noticed my phone was having trouble scanning with the first attempt because of shadowing. So for this QR code, I'll just have a little bit of the QR code sticking out of the top. Once you're happy with your QR code positioning, send it to the printer. Here are the two results I got from this tutorial along with the QR codes that I printed beforehand. I have some ideas on how I would like to take this to the next level, so I'll be working on that for my next QR code video. I hope that this video has sparked some cool ideas. If you have some interesting use cases with QR codes, I would love to hear about them. Again, my name is Nick. Have a great day and happy printing.